WPI football is undefeated. At 6-0, the engineers are off to one of the best starts in their program's 130-year history. And the key to their success is really no secret. WPI is a senior-heavy team, and they lean on a lot of leaders. I mean, I've you know been around the game for about 25 years, and I've never been around 35 seniors. Um, and we have 35 outstanding young men that contribute to the program all in different ways. Uh, but they're all fantastic. They're great leaders. Uh, they're performers on the field, in the classroom, the community. And um, I think that that really has kind of pushed our ability to be successful to, to a new limit this year. And really thankful to the coaches and the group of leaders that we have in our senior program. See Rob looking sharp in the camo hat. The engineers back at home this week. They host Merchant Marine at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Ethan Weiner and Neshoba visiting Shrewsbury. Weiner shoots for us on the frenzy. 2-0, or 2-0 rather, Colonials in the second half. A little throw in here. Colby Meyer heads it home. And they've got a 3-0 lead, does the home team now. And Shrewsbury's Rafael Macedo Diaz feeding Cole Lippert, top shelf. 4-0 Shrewsbury. Colonials would look for more. But the high-flying kick save by Weiner coming out of the net to make the stop for Neshoba. Neshoba then with a little bit of a bid here. Peter Maitland, his shot deflected on the keeper, though, in perfect position for Shrewsbury. Colonials get the win. Four to nothing is your final. Leicester hosting North Brookfield under the lights tonight. Get your bug spray out, kids. First half, scoreless. Leicester penalty corner, Ali O'Neill puts one on. Deflects wide of the net, but Lester controlling the play. More from the Wolverines. Ava Richard to Kaylee Peterson. Her bid is stopped by Lindsay Schimmelpenning. Defensive struggle in this one. Lester's Marlena Matev is working hard in there, but the North Brookfield defense is tough, clearing it away. Moments later, Matev with the shot. Stopped by Schimmelpenning. Scoreless late in the first half. Shalice Riendo, some good defense for North Brookfield, but it's Lester who gets the win. One to nothing, your final. Notre Dame Academy and SPM, the girls' soccer. First half, this is NDA's Hannah Marzo on the run with a bid. Riley Leary with the save for SPM. Marzo then on the move again. Shooting this one just wide. Marzo had a big day. She had four goals on the afternoon. SPM's Emma Nunamarch with a free kick. It was a beauty, just high though. Good bid though by the Guardians. Alex Baltus puts on the brakes and then goes top shelf for the goal. Just under the crossbar, one to nothing, Rebels. Marzo causing problems. Leary though with an outstanding save. Probably could have had about five or six goals. Leary made some plays. SPM then on the attack. Emma Grebe off the cross, one-timer. Look at the save by the keeper. Wow. Just took that one and knocked it away. And the Rebels keeper has to shake off the cobwebs and then stops the left boot from Ava Kaperch, the dangerous goal scorer. But Baltus bending one for another goal. She had two goals on the day. NDA gets the win. Eight to one is your final. And that'll do it for sports. Thanks, Sandy. Where's Kevin tonight? Do you think he's out getting his uh, Bravehearts tattoo? He might, he might. Shane loves a free baseball game, so getting a tattoo would be a good thing. He's actually at the Galaxy of Stars tonight okay. for Friendly House and all the great things that they do as well. So no na no new tattoo tomorrow? No, not that we know of. All right. Well, we'll have to stay Hopefully. tuned. Hopefully. Yeah. That's all we have for this half hour. For Andy Lacombe, I'm Chandler Walsh. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.